are doing a review of Jumanji, the next level. Of course, this is the sequel to Jumanji, the 1995 movie, and also Jumanji, Welcome to the Jungle. I seem to have a problem with calling this Jumanji 2 when technically it's Mm, Jumanji 3, 3, but I've made like a little bit of a clean break. But here, it's basically the same concept all over again, where individuals from the real world wind up in avatar bodies in the game, but... What they do here to make it a fresher story is Alex Wolf's character. He is growing up and he's moved out and he's off to college. He is not really fitting in over there. And he kind of longs for his friends at home and also longs for the powers that he had as Bravestone. So he decides to go home and boot up the game. There's a glitch in the game and more people than in the previous uh, movie are sucked into the game. And it (laughs) makes for what I call just like roll swap gold here mm. i that's my favorite part of this movie but what do you guys think i, I enjoyed it I, it certainly wasn't as good as the next level i thought next level was such a unique uh, approach to this jumanji property uh, and really captured the spirit and then also fleshed it out even more and made it even more fun got the best out of the rock really got the best out of the rock kevin hart natural chemistry kevin gillen really stood out and jack black you remembered why jack black was such a lead for so long in these comedy films so it was great to see this ensemble come together the way they did and the young kids as well alex and all of them were fantastic so you come into this sequel and you hope okay what can you do that's new oh you're bringing in danny devito and danny glover okay let's see how this works and for a majority of the beginning of the film i think it does work it drags a little bit in the middle and just when it's starting to drag too much and you think it's going to sink the film they make a decision about something and that really brings some more life back into the movie it makes it for a great at least a great exciting ending to the film mm-hmm. uh it's not overall as good as the first one but i still had a great time watching it Yeah, I I mean, I feel very similar to how you feel about it. It, it, I had such a fun time with the second film because it just looked awful. And (laughs) I went into it and I was like, there is no way this movie is going to be entertaining. And it wound up being one of the most entertaining films of the year. Mm. And just the chemistry between the four leads works. So when you go into the sequel, and I and I got to give them credit, the trailers for this new one did not have the same effect that they had on the first one, where I watched it and I was kind of like, this doesn't look good. I was like, oh my God, somehow this works and it works again. Mm. And there's just a lack of mystery this time around. And I feel like a lot of times when I was watching this film, I, I kept looking at the the direction and what was going on and saying uh, they tried to up the ante from the first mm-hmm. one okay so this this seems a little bit more technical <laughs> a little bit more elaborate but it's not like it has more adventure but i don't feel like the the laughs or the fun is as strong as it was in the first film mm. so i think i feel almost the same exact way about this new one yeah. as I did the first. I don't oh. really take to the big CG action set pieces. I don't necessarily think they dragged in either movie to the point that I was like, all right, I'm over this. What I love about these two movies and the concept, because as a big 1995 Jumanji fan, I was extremely sensitive when I found out how mm-hmm. they were kind of uprooting that concept mm-hmm. and modernizing it for this. But I really do think this is such a great way to give these incredible talents an acting challenge. I could probably watch hours and hours and hours of this foursome now with Aquafina role swapping. Yeah. I don't need any of these mm. crazy set pieces. Just give me that because I truly couldn't get enough of that. I agree hundred yeah. percent. I think that's when the movie was the strongest, yep. uh, you know, but I do realize that maybe that's something for us adults where the kids, I think, like the scenes with the monkeys and the ostriches. Right. Very fair point. So, right, right. so I think they like the action aspect of it. To me, I just wanted to watch them like that scene where they go in the water you know, and they wind up seeing that something happens and they can change. I thought like, I want that to happen to all the characters <laughs> multiple, multiple times yeah, yeah. and they can make two hour movie just on that. One thing I also and want Aquafina's to- Aquafina's thing real quick with doing Dan DeVito. <laughs> Brilliant. She, she did a better she job was than something else. She did a better job than The Rock did, and I, and I, and I like that. I like seeing the two different versions of Devito interpreted that way. Uh, the, my, if I have any one like actual complaint is they they present something at the beginning between the four young kids that I think could have been explored a little bit oh, more yes. in the movie. Okay. And you have because Alex Wolf's character is certainly the emotional fulcrum of this thing, and so what his he's experiencing, right? So. 
Um, I wanted to see that. And we do see it kind of go to the end of the journey with the Danny DeVito situation because that's his grandfather, but we don't see the other stuff that was presented to us, mm -hmm. the issues between the kids resolved mm -hmm. in quite the same way or as satisfying. I, I definitely could have spent more time with them. And I think yeah. it speaks to how great of a real world ensemble that they put together. And you know, that that is an area that I know that the draw of this is like crazy adventure in Jumanji, but I think they've got a really great cast in the real world. Yeah. And some of the stuff they've got going on amongst that group of friends is some real meaty stuff that yeah. gives the adventure more backbone than anyone would expect. Well, they, uh, Roxy asked me yesterday in Kalala, would you want to see a third one? I was thinking about it last night. Would I want to see a third one? Yes. And then it occurred to me, yes, but if those kids get as much screen time as their avatars, and maybe they're all in Jumanji at the same time somehow, some way, doing something, some adventure. That I could accept. But the movie comes full circle. Right, right, this oh, time. right, right, right. So but without it, giving so, anything away, so it comes that, full circle. That, maybe that's the way you make it happen yes. in the real world where they come out, the avatars come out along with, and that way The Rock can be The Rock, Kevin Hart can be Kevin. And so for the first time ever, we see what these avatars are actually like in the real world, not someone playing them. So that would be interesting. All right, so quickly around the table, do you recommend that people yes. see Jumanji this weekend? Yes. Yes, I, I think that if you enjoyed that first one, you're gonna have a good time oh, with yeah, this absolutely. one too.